Hello, first graders. How are you today? My name is Mrs. Cronin. Some of you may remember me from Pottinger School. I teach with Miss Kelly. I'm talking to all of you in room 14 and room 9. So today we're going to be talking about the assignments that are in all of the subjects for this week. So we've got reading, we have a read aloud, we have a writing lesson, we have a math lesson, a science lesson, a quick little lesson, and you're going to be reading a story on YouTube about a little engine that could. And you're going to have some questions to answer for that. So let's get started. We're going to start today by reading a story titled, Hanging Out with Mom. The author is Sonia Black, and it's illustrated by George Ford. So while I'm reading this story, I want you to think about different things that you like to do with your mom when you hang out with her. And you know what? It doesn't have to be your mom. It could be a grandmother, an aunt, a special friend, or any other special woman in your life. So let's get started. Hanging out with mom. Mommy is home. Hooray, hooray. Did you have fun at work, I say? Can we go to the park and play? Mommy kicks off her shoes. She says, okay. She changes her clothes. We're on our way. First we stop for a little snack. Dinner can wait till we get back. The park is full of runners and hikers, basketball players and skaters and bikers. Look, a rabbit. Look, there are two. They play leapfrog as people do. Leapfrog is always a fun activity to play outside at the park. The big kites, excuse me, the big kids fly kites high in the sky. I chase their tails as they sail by. Flying kites is another great activity to do at the park. Ducks swim slowly in a row. They come to eat crumbs we throw. Do you hear the rhyming words? We see the playground. We run there fast. I am first. Mommy is last. I go down the slide. One, two, three. Mommy waits at the bottom for me. Up to the top, I climb and climb. Be careful, says Mommy. Please take your time. Mommy looks a little worried there. Sand, sand, it's everywhere. There is sand in our shoes. We have sand in our hair. We have so much fun, we haven't a care. It's always nice when you don't look at the time when you're spending it with someone you are um, very fond of and you have fun with them. 
all too soon, it's getting dark, it's time to go, we leave the park. But we will come back again to play, because this is the best time of our day. It's always the best time of your day to spend it with someone special. Okay, so while I was reading that, I hope you had a chance to think about something special that you like to do with someone special in your life, a special woman who you like to hang out with. After I read that story the first time, I thought about a time that I went sledding with my mom. So we're going to ask you to write in your writing journal. And remember, you can use the pictures that came in your bag. The pictures that help you with the word underneath. Okay? Here are some reminders when you're writing. Make sure that you have an uppercase letter at the beginning of the sentence. Only at the beginning, remember. Unless it's someone's name. That's a proper noun. Remember that? It's uppercase. Make sure you have spaces. And make sure you have an end punctuation. So period, question mark, or exclamation mark, or exclamation point. So we want you to write a paragraph that has five sentences. We have the topic sentence, that's the first sentence. And then we have three detail sentences, and that tells you about the topic sentence. And then you have the closing sentence. That's the sentence that is at the end that, that lets people know that you're done with that paragraph. Okay, so remember, you're going to start with the date. And I titled it Mom. Of course, you have to remember that Mother's Day is on Sunday, May 10th. So, Mom, I like to hang out with my mom. We go sledding in the cold winter. We slide down the hill very fast. She shows me how to push off with my feet. I love to go sledding with my mom. So boys and girls, remember, we have five sentences. The first one is the topic sentence. I like to hang out with my mom. So that's telling you what the sentence is about. And right here, you see that I used a period. And remember, I also started with an uppercase letter. We go sledding in the cold winter. Now, again, I started with an uppercase letter because that's a new sentence. And I ended with a punctuation. I ended with a period. We slide down the hill very fast. Now I'm using lots of feeling, so I use an exclamation point or an exclamation mark. She shows me how to push off with my feet. Again, remember it's a new sentence, so it starts with an uppercase at the beginning, and it ends with punctuation, and I used a period that time. And now it's time for my closing sentence. I love to go sledding with my mom, so I'm really emphasizing that I love to do something with my mom. That's why I have all uppercase letters here. And here is my last punctuation that 
is an exclamation mark or an exclamation point. So let's count these sentences. One, that's my topic sentence. Two, one sentence about my topic sentence. Three, four, and then five. And remember, all of these sentences go together. They aren't about different things. I only talked about going sledding with my mom. I didn't talk about going to the park and going to the mall. I talked only about going sledding with my mom. So remember, you're going to write a paragraph and you can look at it throughout the week. It may not take you a long time, but sometimes it might take you more than one day and that's okay. Remember, Please post your work on Dojo Messages or on Dojo Profile. We want to see your work. All right. So the next thing that we're going to work on, boys and girls, is a math lesson. And the math lesson is going to be directly out of your math workbook. Rooms 14 and 9 each got their math books, their math workbooks, inside of those big brown bags. So you're going to start by looking at lesson 16. That is on page 351. 